Hi guys, right, let's have a look at uh, the VK4502P. I found a model kit for it, which actually shows that it's the, the B7 version in World of Tanks is very similar to this 4502P H version, which is, looks like the standard body, but as we know from uh, looking at the stats, it's got 80 mil at the front and sides, but it's got that Tiger II turret with the gun of one of the 88s, which I we'll have a look at later so this is the picture let's have a look at the uh, the Tiger 2 turret now bear with me a second right here we are on the test server just looking at the uh, the VK4502 and this is the B version but the H version the premium tier 7 will look like this so it's going to have the uh, the Tiger 2 turret with the uh, the L71 gun yes the L71 and so it's going to look exactly like this. Gun-wise, it's going to have 203 mil pen penetration, 237 with there uh, with premium, 44 with HE. But the armor values, instead of being 200 and 100, is going to be uh, 80 all round. And with the angling and sloping, you're probably looking about 150 millimeters of effective armor on both of the slopes on the front, which at tier seven is going to be really, really good. So this bouncy turret, yes, it's only 100 mil, but look at that gun. It's very much sloped similarly to the, uh, the Lerva. So it'll bounce shots, and anything that that's not bouncing is going to hit this very sloped area, and it's very trollish. So I think it's going to be quite an effective tank. Thanks, guys. Let's get on with the review. <coughs> Hi guys, Gaming Bear here, just doing a quick preliminary review of the VK4502P Aus B7. It's got uh, 1500 hit points at tier 7, weight 65 tonnes, they always put in 100 um, gold as they're testing it. At the moment it's got uh, 5 crew, 700 uh, horsepower engine, 35 tonnes, 28 degrees per second traverse speed, turrets 24 degrees, Here's the, uh, the the difference. The normal VK has got much more armour, about 200mm on the front. This has only got 80. 80 at the sides, 80 at the rear. Turret armour, 100, 80, 80. It, and in the picture, it looks like it's got the same turret as the basic Tiger II, which in itself is actually a really nice turret. And that's a tier 8. So this is tier 7. So that's going to be very, very effective if they do put this out. So I, I, I quite like the idea of it. It'll have the uh, the 8cm KWK43 L71 gun, 64, 68 bits of ammunition, view range of 370, signal range 710. So let's have a look in Tank Inspector and uh, have, have a look at some, uh, some more details and comparing it actually to the VK4502B. Right, firepower, the gun it's only got 43 less penetration and it's two tiers lower just amazing the uh, the, the gun is 240 a shot yes it was well, two tiers lower so it's, uh, it loses 250 but the dpm is up by 132 which is really good the reload time is uh, is significantly faster well you know it's uh, 6.9 seconds rate of fire 8.69 had a look at the ammo. Shell velocity is faster than the uh, the tier nine, so it, it's going to be very accurate with less lead time than you need to do. Accuracy 0.33, which is quite significantly better than the uh, the tier nine. Aim time, a fraction better, and the accuracy. Is a, it's a bit worse after shooting, so the uh, the rescue settles down, but it's, it's more a more accurate gun, so I think that'll balance it out, otherwise it would just be too accurate. Uh, traversing, not a lot of difference, a little. On the move, it's more accurate than its bigger brother. Traversing, more accurate. Traversing at uh, full speed, it, it's 50% worse, so you don't want to move at full speed. Can you imagine trying to get this to move at full speed? Yeah. Uh, the specific power... It's uh, slightly better, by 0 0.008, so the power-to-weight ratio is almost identical. Chassis traverse is 8 degrees more. Yes, you heard me, 8 degrees more. Oh, 
gun depression. I forgot about the gun depression. This is uh, the the elevation is three worse, so it's only year fifteen. Gun depression is six, so it's got more gun depression than its bigger brother. Gun traverse thirty three, uh, thirty instead of uh, twenty six, so it's up by four, which is really good. Tow traverse is up by six. Very, very speedy traverse of the yeah, the turret. Chassis traverse is up by eight. So it was before they added all the extra weight of the, the armour and bumped it up to tier nine. So this had less armour, but it's got a good turret. Okay armour for tier seven, which is nice. So back to uh, the terrain resistance is either the same or improved. Whoa, that's quite significant. It's going to be... So it's got better power to weight ratio and a better top speed. So this will be this will be quite interesting. I think this could be quite good around the battlefield. Shell price, yeah, it, it, a lot less, eight eight hundred a shell less. But you've got to fire two, so you'll only make four hundred a shell more than its bigger brother. The uh, let's have a look. Repair costs, whoa, you were saving eleven thousand seven hundred credits. Uh -huh, yeah, this is good. This is going to earn you a lot of money. Health is down. Come on by 450 so but it's still 1500 uh, hit points which is really nice let's have a look the components are down about 40 10 25 for, for the fuel tank engines the same tracks are 60 weaker gun is 20 weaker optics are 20 weaker and the radio is stronger by 10 and it shows uh, all the armor and the chance of catching fire is actually worse so it's 20 percent instead of 15 uh, percent on the the other vk so, I think this could be quite an interesting tank when it comes out. So, if it does actually pass the trials, I would suggest getting it, or I'm going to be getting it. It's up to you whether you get it, but I, I, I like the look of this. I, I like the Tiger 2 turret, and a tier lower, I think it's going to make quite an interesting impact on the, on the game. So, roll on the, uh, the B7 version. So, I hope this has helped. Hope you like this, uh, this mini review, and see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.